I'll give you the. Yo, what's up? How's everybody doing out there? I did a video earlier. Hopefully, y'all join me. Um, I'm getting a lot of more views and a lot more people are joining me and stuff. Uh, but I had somebody say, can I start cooking my dinner live? Uh, usually, I do YouTube, but I'm doing it live right now on Facebook. Y'all yeah, got me here again. So, this is what's been going on. I'm making me a nest of day. See, a lot of times people in keto think they can't eat certain foods, but you actually can as long as you make it the keto way. So, bring this over. So, so look right here. This is the mianessa. It's been sitting there on heavy cream, uh, some spices, a couple of eggs, uh, pepper, salt, and a garlic. I chopped it up. I ch actually chopped it up in here. And then if you look over here, this is the salsa that we're going to be having, which it has um, cilantro, uh, tomatillo, tomatoes, chile, your regular, your, reg your regular salsa. Okay, so here goes the pan. And put right here, love. So right here, right here is the chicharrones. Um, chicharrones with uh, almond flour. And chicharrones gives it a crunch, so it's a really good way to cook. How's it? How's everybody doing out there? Tell them how's everybody doing out there. What's up? Give me some. Give me some. Give me some hands up, man. Okay, so here we go. We, you get the mianesa, right? So it's been soaking there. And the reason why you want to let it soak in, in the heavy cream, because it makes it more softer. So then you come over here and you're gonna put in the crumbs. So look at that. Put in the crumbs. And me and Nessa, man, it's, it's, a, it's a light meat. And um, I used to actually, I, I still love it, but at one time I was like, man, no more me and Nessa for me because, you know, they, they fry it and stuff like that. Miguel said he's on his way. <laughs> Tell him, come on. Tell him, come on. <laughs> so, okay, so there it goes. Show him, show him how to tone it now. Show him real quick. All right. So there it goes, it's in the pan, right? So then you get the thing and you're gonna go again. You're gonna go again and just press down a little bit on it because you wanna be able to get the little the little crunch. And again, you're not, you don't want it to be like fried chicken, but you do wanna get like some of the little crumbs on it, okay? So here we go. I've always been a cook, but now I'm cooking the keto way. That's the only way I'm gonna cook now. For me and my wife, man. So, okay, so we're letting that, we're letting that Get a little fried up. Always important to keep on cleaning, washing your hands. Always important to keep on washing your hands. Okay, so now we're gonna come over here to all the seasonings. And as you can see, <laughs> this is gone, baby. We're gonna go get some more. This is really good. It got the black pepper, the garlic, and the pink salt. But we're out of it. Look, that's how good it is. We need to go buy some. And we're at the grocery store not too long ago. So come on this way, come this way. Okay, so, so did you already season it a bit or no? Uh, a little bit, I seasoned it a little bit on, on, on when it was sitting there a little bit. But look, here goes the ground mustard. You put a little bit of ground mustard on it. Ground, low mustard. And mustard, ground mustard is good for you. A lot of stuff that I'm putting on the food is good for you. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of that on it. We're going to put um, a little bit garlic. Garlic's real good for your body. So you put a little bit, we're going to put a little bit like that. A little bit. All right. And then... Um, well, that's cooking. Can I show what's in the oven? Pink salt. Oh, we'll go, to, we'll go to the oven right now. Okay. So now look at this. This right here is a vegetable casserole. It has uh, bell peppers, jalapenos. It has um, a zucchini. It has um, uh, uh, something I use today. It's uh, from Mexico. Chozoy. Uh, no, not chozoy. Uh, chamoy. Not chamoy. What is it called? Anyway. I'll get to that in a little bit. And it got onion, and it has um, oh, oh, it has nopales. It has uh, uh what cheese. is it called? What is it called? Um, nopales. What is it called? Babe? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. We're live, guys. We're live. I'm gonna scratch it. Oh, give me something that won't scratch it. Here, I got one. Of these. No. This yeah. won't scratch it. Okay. Okay. So let's take over. Look at that. Oh, look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. Go ahead, wife. Go ahead. So my wife is helping me, man. My wife, she's in the house now. Awesome. Well, I don't want you scratching up the pan. <laughs> Hold on. Back up, baby. Back up. Back up, daddy. Move back, dad. Okay, we're live right now. We're, we're talking about it right now. So show them how to... Oh, that's show them two pieces. The... Oh, shit. I didn't know that. We got to take one off. When I my Hold on, babe. I can't Hey, that's two pieces. It'll be fine. It ain't going to get the crisp we need, but it'll be all right. Okay, move that one out so we can... No, don't put it back over here. Don't do that. We'll add some breading to it. Okay, we'll add some right now. Okay. 
Okay, see, you see we're doing live, everything, everything, we're doing it now. So one meat got stuck. So who's on there, babe? Let's see. What's up, y'all? Shout out to everybody, man. Yes, cactus. That's what I was getting at, Rolando Nopalitos, cactus. So we got that going on right now, man. I'm making this dinner for y'all can check it out. Um, people have been hitting me up. They want to they want to see me yeah, making dinners. They can they can right. make it and stuff like that. So here we're going. We're at it right now. Check it out. Okay. Okay. okay so we just one of the one of the, the meats had got stuck to the other one. So now we're just trying to get this going right now. But look look how good that looks. Look at that. That's me and Nessa, man. So remember, it's not what you can't eat. It's what you can eat. Miguel, come on your way, bro. I got plenty. Okay, so shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to Oscar. Shout out to, what's up, sister-in-law? So right here, we I've been letting it sit here for an hour in heavy cream because the heavy cream makes it real more soft than Mianessa. So we're making Mianessa today. So here we go. And you got to try it, man. It's good. Uh, Mianessa meat, Carla. Mianessa meat. Steak meat. A thin steak. So... And right here, we got the salsa that I made. The, the salsa, and I got uh, cilantro, you know, the typical onion, uh, tomatillo, and stuff like that. So we got that salsa going on. But look at this, though. Look at this. Oh, my God. And I got Miss Freestyles helping me out right now. Look at that. Oh, my God. So all, you, all we used was almond flour, which is right here, almond flour. And we used these right here. Chicharrones. It don't matter what you on as you use, uh, which is pork skins, because you're going to crush them down and you don't even get the taste to them. It's just for the crunch. But look at this right here. Look. Man. Ain't that a masterpiece? So here goes. This is, the, this is what you do. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the meat. And you're going to cl clean it up, wash it out. I like to wash my meats out all the time. And then you're going to put it into here with heavy cream and your seasoning and stuff like that. Hey, Mikey boy, hey, bro, I'm, I'm a phone call away, man. You do need keto in your life, dad. I'm serious, man. It's really, really good for you. What's up, Enya? So, then I made this salsa, and you know what? People think you can't eat certain stuff, but you still could eat tortillas as long as they're the three-carb or the four-carb or even the five-carb tortillas. Today, I won't be eating tortillas, but maybe some other day I will. I try not to eat them every week, uh, but I do eat them, and they don't harm, harm you. Okay, so here we go. Heavy cream is not, no carbs. You usually do heavy cream, and then uh, we got this going on, so you get your, your meat. Let's do another one. Get a plate out. Okay, hold on. You, get that. you wanna hold this? Okay. All right. Are we good over there? Yeah, it shouldn't take that long, because they're pretty thin. All right, let's just plate. What they watching over there? Oh. Look at that, that looks so good, man. Guys, right, so I'm gonna get this one over here. We should make some more. Um... It's always awesome when the wife's helping me. Here we go. Put a little more of it. A little more. We ran out of we ran out of breading. Do you want to put some more together, or you just want to use it like that? The what? We ran out of breading already. Do you want to um, you want to use it like that, or just make it like steak? Or you want to put some more together? Um, it's not a lot. Just, just. Okay, would you like that? Yeah. That's cool. So what happened right now is, um, again, we had the chicharrones and we had the almond flour, and we we're gonna make another uh, another one, but we're just not that much, so we're just gonna leave it like that. You know, people eat me and that stuff. They eat it breaded, and when I mean breaded, I mean like with the keto way, or you could eat me and that just like that, like a steak, and it's still gonna come out great because it's been sitting in the heavy cream for a long, long, long time. So let it be like that. Remember, again, you gotta always wash your hands. Always wash your hands. Safety way. Oh, 
Oh, actually, actually, no, D. Actually, no. Um, go ahead and look everything up because if it does have carbs, it has very, 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 very little carbs. Very, very little carbs. Actually, if you look at the, if you turn the bag of the pork skins around, it has zero carbs. Zero carbs. And the almond flour, you turn the almond flour around, let's see what the carbs, let me see how many carbs it has. It has one, one, net. one net of carbs. So that's what it has. So actually, it, it, it's, uh, will you, what you say you call it? I call it uh, the lazy, well, it actually is not the lazy keto because it's good, it's really, really good. And I am promise you that if you look up everything up right now, we're doing right here, there's probably, what, what do you think, maybe one at one Like, like the vegetables have the carbs, but they're yeah, the, still lower. The vegetables have the carbs, but vegetables are really good for you, and they're still lower than anything else. When I tell you y'all can't, y'all not supposed to eat carbs, the keto, keto is a low carb, not a no carb, a low carb. So as long as you get, what, five carbs per day? Or, well, under 20. Well, under 20, 20 under 20. You're trying to shoot for under 20. Again, well, if you're trying to lose, yeah, if you're trying to lose weight, but if you want to maintain, you can. Yeah, do yeah. So everybody does, but this right here, I guarantee you, this is this is the way to cook, and you will not get a lot of carbs on you, because you can. People think that when you're on keto, you can't do this, you can't do that, but actually, you really can. I promise you, you can, because you're using the almond flour. If you don't want to use the almond flour, you can use coconut flour, and it's all good for you. I mean, it it, it all works. So here we go. So. You got that going on. All right, y'all. Hey, um, let's shut down already. Let's see. Uh, hold off the camera. Hey, y'all. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate. It. I just been having people hit me up, and they wanted me to make some some deals when I'm cooking food and everything for them and stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. So you can make me a Nessa a keto way, and we just did it right now, and we got the salsa going on. Oh, we got the. Let me see. So here we go. We got the salsa for it. This is this is your dipping. This was heavy cream, pepper, salt, uh, pink salt, stuff like that. And then right here was these right here with almond flour. And then they go to the pan and we're, we're cooking it. And this is the finished product. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have a great day, a great night. I appreciate y'all to the next video. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Enjoy it. If you need to reach me for any more recipes or if y'all didn't get this one full, hit me up, call me or inbox me. Thank y'all.